welcome to another video. Oh, my valet just leaving. Um, we are off to Denver now, going to the divisional race actually. So getting hired to go out there to Tuna Copo and meet up with the other guys. So early flight today and we are off to Minneapolis and Denver. See you in a bit. Brandomir in Denver. This is actually the last year for Brandomir here because apparently just like hometown, people bitch when the track is close and they move right to it. So we're excited to see what's gonna happen this weekend and hopefully some good weather. Hey, we're here with the owner, Larry, the guy who flew me out to help him with tuning. So Larry, give us a lowdown on your Copa Camaro. Okay, this is a 2019 Copa Camaro with a Patterson motor, engine built this winter. It's uh, running just under 900 horsepower, naturally aspirated. Um, it's a pretty bulletproof motor. Um, in the drivetrain, we got a Turbo 400 uh, with, a, with the 488 rear gear. Is there anything different in here from factory, from Copo? After we put the three speed shifter in here, which shifts and locks in your quick alert with reverse neutral. Um, we're going to shut the car up at the end of the track so it doesn't load up the, the transmission. Um, Do you have a trans brake on this car or a foot brake? No, it's a foot brake car. If we would run super, uh, super stock, we would put in a trans brake. But right now we're just running stock with the car with the 9 inch uh, slick in the back. If you run super stock, we're allowed a 10 inch. Gotcha. All in all, the car itself is running its number. What's the best you've run with it? I've run a 901. Um, run a 901 in uh, Noble, Oklahoma this year. It should run in the 880s on a really good track, uh, but it's really very consistent and uh, all the credit goes to Patterson Lee for building the motor. Today's Wednesday, we're testing today. We are gonna be running stock here at Brandemir. Our first run, I just left the tune in the way that it was from when they were in Brainerd. Ran 978 and 138. Uh, DA is just over 8,000 feet. This is the first time I really tuned at this altitude. Uh, even my fat ass has a hard time breathing at this elevation. So no wonder the motors aren't making the power that they usually do. So made a bunch of changes because we only get three runs today. So we'll see with the second run what it's going to run. Every time I call a time lately, it never runs what it's going to run. So I'm not saying anything this time. We'll see what it runs. And the driver did say that it's been better. Even with the drivability, yeah, I had to make a bunch of changes also. So we'll see what this run brings and we'll see you in the next one. actually went from 8,800 and we only ended up picking up just under 200s. I know it doesn't sound like much but in this class when I got no power adder to make up the difference 200s is quite a bit. Uh, shifted once I guess I'm just used to drivers shifting a little late. This one shifted a little late on that one so probably should have ran around a 75 I was thinking give or take. So we'll see how it is. I believe that puts us almost nine tenths under the index. So in this class, you want to be around nine tenths to the second to be, say, in the top 10, give or take. So 
we're done for today. We're not gonna make any more runs because the heat and the D is just getting worse, so there's no point. So tomorrow we're gonna get up bright and early because these bracket racers, they start early. I'm not used to starting early also, so gonna have to get some good nappy time in. Good morning. It is Thursday here, Brandomir at the Division 5 doubleheader. Today uh, we're gonna be running in stock, hopefully getting three passes today. Looking like possibly only two. Rain is looking like it's gonna be coming around four or five o'clock today. So we're starting earlier schedule today. So the goal is today is obviously get close to under the index as we can, hopefully around the 0.9 to one second underneath the index. We'll see uh, the uh, DA right now is I believe 71, 7200. Looking like probably though, it's probably gonna end up being over the eight like yesterday was. So we'll see what's gonna happen here. Not gonna make much changes. And then uh, we'll go from there. One thing I just can't believe how nice this racetrack actually is. It is just absolutely beautiful. It's such a shame that it's getting torn down after this year because left wingers complain about the, the noise. So, but hey, glad that I can be there for the last year that they have it because I've never been here before. So show you the other side it's just beautiful unreal how nice just the stands and the viewing is that's built right on the mountain our pits are way up there so you got an overhead view you see everything is really nice well what do you know a dragger you don't see that a lot from our hometown so Just beautiful landscape. Expensive. Well, after the first lick, we went uh, 969 at 139. I believe that puts us 94 under. So I haven't looked at it, uh, sheet yet, but I have a feeling that's top five probably. It's usually what it is at these events. So there's not much that I can really do with this thing with the sensors that are on it. I'm really tuning off of the bare minimum on this thing. I'm used to having a bunch more sensors on it. So be amazed how much you actually can learn off video. So really that's probably gonna be our best pass of the day because the DH is just gonna get worse with the heat. So basically just about just making the car consistent and then for the next second and third run. And then for tomorrow we start elimination. So happy with that for the first one because yesterday our best was a 77 and today was a 69. But as I said, the weather got better today too. I believe it's a thousand better than yesterday. Still in the 
74, 7300. So, wait now for a couple hours when we make our next hit. After second time trial, we went uh, 973 to 138. I'm actually impressed. The little changes that I made down low. We picked up two and a half numbers on the 60. So pretty happy with that. But actually, since there's so many cars here this weekend, they actually change it. We don't get a third qualifier. We're going right to eliminations. So first round. We actually have a 70 Nova. I don't know any of these racers, so I just know the car. So, Louie runs mid 11s. So, Larry's running 970s, high 960s. So, you have to chase him down. So, hopefully, we get the round one and then dinner will be good. See you in a bit. So, change of plans, probably for the third time. They changed the ladder three times on us. So, now Larry is facing his Firebird here. Larry runs 11 something don't know yet so once again gonna have to chase it down just like all the nova was gonna be anyways originally was supposed to race this nova and i got switched to this one so good luck to lair bear you can do there. I heard him walk the pedal a couple times during his 44 and his 40. So, but one thing here I want you to see is how repeatable this this Copo is. Like, this was the run from before, our last time trial, and this was the eliminations. It's literally identical. 60 foot is within a thou. 330 is bang on. Eighth miles within a thou. Like, and then you got your thousand is identical. Like the sucker was on an identical pass. So not much you can do when a guy goes a double three against you. Apparently Romeo is quite the kid. So him and his family are pretty unreal. So hey, it is what it is. What can you do? So tomorrow they're gonna run the rest of eliminations. Then we have time trials again. And then we have the double up. So then we have again racing on Saturday. So 
stay tuned for time trials tomorrow and then elimination on Saturday.